oh, you're here. And, um, well, right now, as you can see, no book. Uh, but Fuchsia Fish is coming any second now. She told me she was bringing us this uh, famous fish novella that she wanted to share with. Oh, she's coming right now. Wow, that was a long swim from under the sea. Fuchsia, you brought me the rainbow fish. Is this the famous fish novella you were telling me about? Oh yeah, it's been around for like 30 years. So before you were born. <laughs> You flatter me. Well, as you can see, the rainbow fish is quite beautiful. And I assume that this is also a fish that you know? Of course. Is there anybody that you don't know under the sea? Well, I hear there's a couple of clownfish that I've yet to meet, but just give me another couple of days and I'll get everybody. I'm sure you will. So I'm excited. This is the novella, but wait a minute. This is the novella? It's kind of... It's kind of thin. Well, oh, uh, don't you know? No way. Oh, fish novels are famously short because, you know, fans, we can only carry so many pages. Oh, perfectly clear. Okay, is, oh, is this why you told me to wear my most colorful blouse because it's the rainbow fish? You got it! <laughs> away we go! All right, away we go! And, oh, oh, wait, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see how rainbow fish sparkles? Oh, look at that. It's, it's mesmerizing. I can't stop wiggling it. I can't stop looking at how beautiful this rainbow fish is. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop because we need to go inside. We can't just linger on the cover, or can we? Okay, let's go inside, but we'll come back to that cover. And there's the rainbow fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm gonna keep wiggling this book the entire time, kid, because I just love seeing the sparkles. And there's the beautiful, oh, beautiful rainbow fish. And there it is, sparkling some more. It's 30 years, this rainbow fish must be a very good story for it to be so popular under the sea for 30 years. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, mm -mm -mm -mm, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. Oh, look at that. Just swimming along. Look at that. Can you imagine if you saw the rainbow fish and look at how it everywhere, just the sparkles, wow. This is, no wonder they wrote a book about them. You can't take your eyes off of rainbow fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty and they called him rainbow fish, makes 100% sense. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call, come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Oh, oh, okay, okay, so, Rainbow Fish is feeling like feeling himself, feeling really good about himself, but too good to play with the other fish? That's too bad. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful and you have so many. Can we take a closer look at Rainbow Fish's face? That's the face that says, uh, are you kidding me right now? Or maybe I'm just imagining, but that face does not look at the face of somebody who wants to like give away their scales. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Oh, 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 it's gonna be like that, okay. Shocked, and I understand why, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what happened. It was like, can you believe he said that? And they're like, no. And then it was like, yeah, no, 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 he really did. I can't believe he would say that. I know, but why would I make that up? No, you're so right. I mean, he didn't want to play that last time. I know, and it turns out that he's like, really aggressive and like really, really into himself. Oh, well, you know, yeah, well, we should have thought that all along because we really had our suspicions about him. So anyway, they're all talking, ba 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 I bet Fuchsia Fish heard about this too. So uh, he told everybody what had happened and from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. You know what he did? He hurt their feelings. 
he was like rude to one of their favorite little fishies and didn't want to play and was obviously more into himself than anyone else's feelings. So he's getting the cold fin. If he were human, it would be a cold shoulder, by the way. What good were the dazzling, shimmery scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. Still looking fabulous, but lonely. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? Um... I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Uh, sorry, Teller. Hey, Octavius the octopus, do you happen to know who this wise octopus is? It's not you, is it? Oh, no, it is my mother. No. Yes, why would I make that up? No, 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 I, I know you wouldn't. Wow. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Octavius, the octopus's mother, knows how to make an entrance. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. She sounds so much like Octavius, doesn't she? The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Uh, he's shimmering, shimmering, shimmering. I... I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Octavius' mother knows how to make an exit also. Give away my scales, my beautiful and shining scales. Never, how could I ever be happy without them? I mean, it is quite beautiful to look at. I know, I know, I keep hitting the page. It's just a beautiful, kaleidoscope of color. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. <gasps> the little blue fish was back. Wow, persistent little fella. I would have thought for sure he would never have come back. Rainbow fish, please, don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered, wavered. That's a really good word that means hesitated, wasn't sure which way to go. Probably when you're a fish, it looks a little like this. So that's what Rainbow Fish was doing. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the Rainbow Fish pulled out the smallest scale. Look at how it shimmers and glows, it's so beautiful. And gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. And, well, now this is interesting, a rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. Peculiar, which is a long and shimmering word that means odd, strange, unusual. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. I bet it looks spectacular. Look at that. I mean, rainbow fish still looks fabulous. And now he shared some of the wealth of his beauty. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. He was obviously very proud. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. And now everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And you get a scale, and you get a scale, and you get a scale, and you get a scale. And, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. And look, there's this one had a beautiful scale, and this one over here you see him, and these guys are waiting. And why do you think he felt at home? I mean, it's not because he had to 
look like everybody else to feel welcome or at home. They had told him that, that he could come play with them even when he was fully colorful and they had nothing. So I'm confused. Why did he now feel at last at home, like now he fit in? I know why. Oh, Corny the Unicorn, Rainbow Aficionado. That's me. So do you understand why he feels like he fits in now? I mean, he should have felt like that before. Well, before he was letting his vanity, his love of how he looked, dominate and would not allow him to make friends with others because he felt better than everybody. But then he realized something. Oh, what did he realize? That sharing is caring and his gift wasn't just for him to have and show off, but rather his gift was designed to be shared. And that way he could spread the beauty and the love. And that's why he finally felt at home because now he was a truly giving and kind fish who knew how to relate to others with kindness and giving and not just think about himself. Oh, that is so brilliant. You kind of blew me away, Corny. Yeah, uh, sometimes I do that, but I know things, yay. Oh, Corny does know things. So, so I was like thinking, why did he have to give everything away to feel like he fit in? But that wasn't it at all. He was letting his beauty stand between him and the others, and he felt better the more he gave. Because really, kid, that happens to me too. The more I give away things and give and give, I just, I feel like I get so much back, so much love and happiness and friendship. And I, I mean, but I'm not gonna like give away my scales because, um, well, I don't have any, so. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. That one right there. His most prized possessions had been given away. Look at that, everybody has a shining scale. Yet, he was very happy. And that, mm, that's the most prized possession of all, isn't it? Happiness. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come. And as happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And now the whole ocean was a sparklier, more beautiful, and happier place. And still the rainbow fish is gorgeous. I don't think he's any less beautiful than before. Maybe even a little bit more. Uh, future! Blah, 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 blah. What did you think, Storytella? What did you think of the rainbow fish? A beautiful story, right? Yes, and it told us so much about sharing and caring and not being too vain. Oh yeah, vanity. That's a big word that means you're a little too into your appearance. But everybody knows that what really matters? Yes? Is on the inside. Uh, truth bomb! Truth bomb! So now you know why the rainbow fish is so popular. Yes, I do, and I'm so glad I could share it with you and that you could share it with me and that we could share it with everybody. Yeah, I like that because you know what? Yes. Sharing is caring. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, and I expect you to shine bright like a rainbow.